so this is it i use the hip to divide it into two of course you know your hip measurement is actually the biggest in the lower block so i use the hip measurement to divide it so we have the front and we have the back or you have the front and you have the back whichever one you want so for today we have we are going to make it of our pattern master so our pattern master is very flexible and is available at our store so you can order for yours so your pattern paper your tape measure your pen and of course your pair of scissors okay now this is our waist measurement this is our waist so we are going to mark our waist measurement so our waist measurement is seven and a half seven and a half inches so i'm going to mark it this way so i'm marking i'll be marking the front and the back together okay that is the two sides together so i'll come this way our waist is seven and a half inches so we said our waist to our hip is what nine inches don't forget we said that in the measurement waist to hip nine inches so you mark it at this point waist to hip nine inches waist to under the butt that is under the bottom we said waist to under the bottom was 10 inches so i'm going to add half inch so we have 10 and half waist to under the bottom 10 and a half inches waist to under the bottom 10 and a half inches so the next one we are going to take note of is our skirt length of course you need your skirt length so my tip my pattern paper the length of my pattern paper is equal to the length of my skirt so i might not have to rule that so i'll just connect the lines together so you can join us for training i'm going to put down the details down below drop your comments your questions okay so always label it so you won't forget this is the waist this is the waist to hip waist to under the bottom okay so after that what you have to do now is to connect your waist to your hip you know we made it of our hip measurement to divide it into two right okay i hope you guys can see it okay we made this of the waist measurement to divide it into two right so just connect your waist to your hip so i'll do the same thing for this part so after that our hip you're going to take two inches away from your hip just to give it this effect okay so our hip was 10 inch so i'm going to take two inch away to give me eight inches i'll do the same at this point take two inch away to give us eight inches so after that you now connect it all the way down just to have the pencil effect okay you can make it of two inches you can make it of one and a half it depends on you you can make it of one inch if you don't want it to be pencil it depends on what you actually want to derive okay so having done that you're going to come down to your waist measurement as your waist measurement you mark half inch waist measurement you mark half inch at your waist measurement you mark half inch so you just take it away you guys should be familiar with this it's just like your pattern for your basic skirt so you take away your half inch okay i hope you guys can see it. so i think it's closed this way so after that what we just did now is to take our waist measurement hip measurements take away your two inch or your one and a half depends on how pencil you want it to be take away your half inch on both sides so that is just what we've done so far so the next thing you have to do now is to come down with two inch of course you don't want to pad your hip you don't want to pad it to your hip point exactly so just come down with two inch come down with two inch just to give it ease around your hip region just to have that ease around your hip region so this is our front let me label it. this is the front 
and this is the back so we have back and we have front so for the width of the front we said our width for the front was five inches i hope you guys can take note of the measurement and we said for the width of the back is five and a half inches because my bum bum is too big <laughs> so we have five and a half inches so the width for the front five five inches the width for the back five and a half inches so the next thing we have to do now is to mark our hip pad length okay our hip pad length was 12 inches don't forget our measurements the hip pad length was 12 inches so i'm going to add extra one inch so we have 13 inches so you mark it all the way down 13 inches hip pad length okay so it depends on what you have for yours so this is my hip pad length So I'm going to label it hip length, hip pad length, hip pad length, okay? If you don't label your pattern, by the time you are done, you'll be confused. So we've labeled it already so we, we can see what we are dealing with. Now for me, I love to make it a free hand because it gives us, you know, you can play around it, okay? So just use dotted lines, connect it with this, your five inch this is what we want to achieve and then you have to bring it to this your your hip measurement okay this is the measurement for the front so just play around it this is what we actually want to achieve okay so you can just connect from these two inches connect it to your five inch and then you bring it to where you have this your line so when you've done that you can now make it of your pattern master just to give it that perfect round shape okay just to straighten it up give it that perfect round shape but if your free hand is straight then you are good to go that place shouldn't be sharp like that so this is what we have for the front basically so for the back you are going to measure this point because you actually want it to be equal so you are going to measure this point where you have at your under booth or your under bottom so for your under bottom we have 3.5 inches you are going to mark the 3.5 inches here you are going to mark your 3.5 inches here okay and don't forget that we are also going to connect it now for you to connect this back you might not really get it with free hand, okay? So all you have to do is just to make use of like angle 45, okay? Just to play around it because you want to get this round shape. So it, this just helps you to know where you want to curve it to or how you want to curve it rather. So can you see what we have at this point? Don't worry, by the time I'm done. So just use your free hand, connect it together, just to connect the lines together. So after that, let me paint it so you guys can see what we actually have. So for the back, can you see that the back has this loop at the back because of the bootles, okay? So for people that have a bigger bootles, this your loop is going to come out very well and people like us that have <laughs> a very big one our own is going to come out small so let's label it because basically this is what we are going to be needing this is what you need you don't need all these parts okay so it's good you label it so when you cut that you can easily identify this becomes our side okay this becomes our hip we have under hip under the bottom or under your hip you have your hip length always label this is for the back this is the front this is our side our hip under the boots hip pad length okay so now i'm going to cut this out and after cutting this out you guys will see the shape of what we are actually dealing with when you are cutting, please be careful at this point, okay? Just follow it and don't give it like a pointed shape. Just follow it carefully, okay? So let me cut it out and show you guys.
so after cutting it out let me show you guys what it looks like so by the time assuming you didn't label it you're going to find it difficult to know where you're going to join to the body where you're going to join to the sides so that's why i said it's very important for you to know so this you are going to cut this in two pieces okay for the two front and you cut this for the two back no like this you have this already so this is what you have already you are padding the hip rather so you don't need any two piece or whatever this is what you have this is what you need already so i'm sorry about that so this is it let me show you guys so don't forget to tell your friends share this video share our channel join us for training i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to follow us to be able to watch all the series of this if pad video so i'll see you guys in my next video bye